This is a bag, a poorly wrapped bag from Timu. This site, like a wish.com, but somehow worse. I don't know. Uh, remains to be seen the quality of the baits inside of this bag. We're gonna cut this open on this episode and this is gonna be a lot of fun because there's some wacky stuff in here and I hope it's not broken. But this is how they ship things, apparently. What's up, nerds? So obviously you saw the video where we went shopping on Timu, Timu, Temu. You know what, can somebody give me like the phonetics of that one in the comments below, please and thank you. Uh, we saw our video, Paul and I went shopping on this thing, we saw a bunch of crazy stuff, there were some bangers as far as the audio tracks on some of the real videos. We didn't get any reels on this order, we just got lures, but I will, I promise you, I will go back and I'll get some reels and then we'll test them out. Uh, because why wouldn't I buy a $16 bait caster that looks like it's made of metal, probably is made of plastic and is definitely uh, top tier S ranked for audio production quality. I don't know, why wouldn't I do that? So we have a bunch of lures here. I wanna cut this bag open and share with you what you can expect when you're ordering from this site. And I know, I'm gonna hear it in the comments already, I heard it last time. Lots of people have bought from AliExpress, you've bought from overseas before, you've gotten this stuff from you know wherever. And you know, you said it was fine, it worked, it definitely works. Lots of things work, doesn't mean that they're great. So I'm just gonna give you my first impressions on these as we get them out of the box, bag, and we're gonna obviously then go and test them out on the water at a later time. So we'll get you another video on those later on. I just wanna see what these things look like because a lot of those pictures were very much photoshopped on that site. So I don't know what they actually look like. I have no concept of the size of most of these lures. I just know they look crazy and I wanted to get a few to try out for you guys. So without further ado, let's cut this thing open, shall we? We're gonna take a big old American knife to this thing. I, uh, I don't even know how to open this. Oh my God, I hate this so much. How do you open this without damaging the lures inside? I'm trying to just get the tape. Ah! Okay, I got a part of the plastic. I think we're good. There you go, the remnants of our package. Let's see what we got. Uh, the first one that I have is in a box. And uh, if you guys saw the video of us ordering, I think you know what this one is. This is my lightsaber holder, AKA my fishing rod holster. Look at this thing. All right, I think I have a short enough rod that I can test this out right now. So check this out, it sounded weird. I don't know what these clips do on the side. That's for something else, maybe security. And am I too fat for this? Yes, I am, that's okay. Let's expand. How do you, how do you? Okay, so I mean, it's pretty, pretty secure. Okay, okay, that was, that was too tight, that was too tight. Okay, hang on, oh, there we go. Nope, still too tight, okay. All right, that's better. Here we go. So this thing goes, goes, I should probably do this while I'm not wearing it. So you get this thing and it goes into this webbing here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Neat, 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 got it. So now we've got it on the belt and I have my fishing utility belt. So we're gonna take a reel, slap it onto this ugly stick, GX2, bam, bam, bam. Okay, and then I'm gonna holster it. Pow! Ooh, okay. Okay, so here it is. This is my fishing rod holster. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. I could see too, like you could put it behind you kind of, right, like right there. I mean, I can't extend my back or anything, but let's say that I'm wading the river and, 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 hang on, better idea. We have our fish lab uh, utility fanny pack, right? Holds 3,600 size box. What if we could incorporate these two together? Oh yes. So check this out. Uh, the, the fish lab pack has like these little tiny, absolutely useless little web pockets, right? But what you can do is you can take these little tabs, you can shove this sucker in there, it barely fits. And now I can go ahead and wear my fanny pack and it actually puts that back there where I'd want it. Check this out. Here we go, moment of truth. I'm wading the river. I got two combos with me. Oh shoot, oh shoot, one goes right there and it's not going anywhere. Ho ho ho, baby. This is legit, I just smoked that light, that's fine. I mean, oh yeah, I got my leash right here. So I could, I could set up a leash, clip it over that and like 
we're good. This isn't going anywhere. First product, great success. So there we go. I've now attached it permanently to my fanny pack and it is a, it is a part of my wading the river journey now. Good purchase. Okay, so next up we picked up three packs of these and uh, this one looks very sad. This, this pack wasn't very happy being packaged that way. So these are essentially the Bellows Gills. So if you guys are familiar with uh, G-Crack, G-Crack, whatever the heck you, you call it, they make these awesome little things that usually smell like nacho cheesier flavored Doritos. Uh, well, I'm not sure what these are gonna smell like. Let's find out. So this just says BNU Soft Bait. Okay, cool. Ugh. It actually, <sighs> no, no smell, no good smell. Okay, so this is basically like a, a non-oily, non-greasy Bellows Gill. Looks exactly the same. Uh, so we got that, that thick middle portion you see there, and most of it is just this thin, super soft material. Very soft, just like the Bellows Gill is. You got your little tickle tail down there. Look at that, so we got that lighter side, darker side. This is like a green pumpkin and white kind of colorway. Durability, we'll find out. You get two to a pack. I think they're a couple bucks each for each pack of two, so not too bad. This one's a little warped. Um, definitely not the same like nice packaging that you get with the Bellows where it's the tray. This is or the individually slotted tray. This is just one big tray that they just threw those suckers into. Okay, so there's one color. The next one we got, this is the beat up package. It's actually a cool color though. So this one, again, I mean, it smells slightly shrimpy, slightly like that nacho. Oh wow, these ones are just stuck together though. Look at that. Smells kind of like that, but also at the same time, just ugh, purely just plastic. Uh, so this one is like a June bug watermelon, kind of chartreuse highlight to that bottom side. And this one, they, they didn't do a great job splitting the colorway. I mean, that's just mostly June bug down there. It's supposed to be a laminate, like one color this side, one color that side. So bad pour on that one, unless that's what they're going for. I don't know, it just looks kind of funky. This one's a little better. So you get that bright green and red flake and then you get that June bug upper, that purple and blue. Not bad, not a bad color. Um, I mean, if, if you wanna figure out how to fish a bellows gill, maybe you get a couple of these. And then you learn how to rig it, how to fish it, how to catch on it. And then you go get the Bellows Gill because it's just better. <laughs> uh, the, mm, I don't know, man. Colorway Sparkly 7. Sparkly 7. It, it's literally the same bait. Uh, it's part of the problem with sites like these is you see a lot of these copies. Like this other company maybe did all the design work and put all the energy and effort and blood, sweat and tears into it. And then these guys were like, well, we already have the mold for it. Let's just make a bunch of super cheap ones and sell it on this crazy site. And that's where we wound up. Here's another one. And you're noticing that they just get like locked together because they don't have their own individual spots. There we go. So yeah, all right, interesting. I mean, it's, it's exactly the same, just without the uh, proprietary juice that G-Crack uses, I guess I would say. It's fine, it's fine. More B&U, whatever, whatever that brand is. Two-way, it's called the two-way. We got an eight count in pink, of course. Check this crazy doohickey out. Again, just purely plastic, uh, pretty soft, soft plastic that they use for this though, but check this out. <laughs> it's connected, <laughs> two little mites here with these crazy tentacles coming off the sides. Obviously you could rip this apart, you could rig it on smaller hooks. You could do a micro wacky, which is what we plan on doing with this. We're gonna throw this on a wacky rig. Just toss it out there, see what happens, why not? Legs are crazy, got a ribbed body to it. So very interesting is probably the only way to describe this. Uh, something that would, I, I would see this as synonymous with like Japanese fishing, JDM baits for sure. For a couple bucks, why not try it out? I'm gonna do something different. So now we get into the hard baits and Oh my gosh, were there a lot of really weird hard baits. Uh, most noticeable was the ploppers, the whopper ploppers that were specifically the same colors that River to Sea has of their whopper ploppers, just way cheaper for a five pack. They photoshopped them into pictures with fish. <laughs> where it was like, no, that's not real. It's obviously not real. The ploppers, they, they look all sorts of different sizes. And that was true for most of these baits. So if you're shopping this site, the big problem that I had was like, 
they had a size description, then they had an image, and the, the two, the picture doesn't match the sound, right? It didn't line up. So you would have to, you know, be able to calculate these sizes in, you know, grams and maybe centimeters. So obviously, you can go just convert it online, whatever. Um, but it's not giving you a, the, the whole picture, right? Versus where you're used to buying baits, maybe Tackle Warehouse or something like that. You get a lot more description. And they also all had these pictures that had descriptive terms that didn't make any sense because of translation. So kind of confusing. I'd say we, we start with this. This is one of a lot of people have mentioned that they've got. I didn't expect it to be this size. That's, that's massive. That's huge. I expected this to be a lot smaller than this. Uh, this makes no sense to me. So sure, it's a topwater bait. It'll work fine. It'll do what topwaters are supposed to do. I was just expecting more of like what the images suggested which was like a small cicada style bait. This is not that. What it is, is a massively terrible package that's just taped like all the way around. For one, for two, oh my goodness. It's, it's a, uh, mm, mm, nope, nope. I hate this, I hate this so much. Kind of a fire tiger color to it. Uh, very plasticky, uh, very, very cheap feeling for sure. Um, hooks are, you know, obviously need to be replaced. I'm gonna leave them on to, to give this a go. They're not sharp at all, like at all. Um, and then you get these little plastic paddle wheels on the side. So this is one of those baits, it's supposed to float, cast it out there. I mean, at least it has a split ring, I guess. And then as you're retrieving it, hopefully these are getting moved by the water and creating some sort of disturbance on the surface. There's a disturbance in the surface. I hate it. I, I, I knew I wouldn't be happy, but the size of this thing is stupid. That's huge. So I don't, uh, I guarantee we catch a fish on this. I'm just not going to be happy fishing it. I wonder how long these little paddle wheels hold up too. I don't know. You couldn't make it cheaper. I don't think, I don't think you can make this cheaper. So I don't know if you, again, like I'm not trying to knock these things. I know a lot of people are looking for like, how do I save some money on buying all these fishing lures? Lots of lures, especially us made ones are super expensive. Uh, you know, is it worth buying the name brand, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I hear you. I totally hear you. And also this. So to me, is this worth it? No. Maybe you guys have caught on this. Awesome. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not trying to yuck your yum. I'm just saying there's a lot better stuff out there than whatever this thing is. Next, we're doing this one. I'll save the, what, it, what I think is the most interesting for last. This one I bought purely to put on a shelf. I actually didn't plan on fishing this at all. Why is everything so taped? Gosh. All right. So it came in this little throwaway plastic container and we have three of them. Now, I want you to picture the cicada. You're thinking of a bug. You're like, okay, cicada. And then I want you to picture a duck. You're picturing a duck. You're like, okay, babe, picture a baby duck. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. And then I want you to imagine that we have a baby duck that is smaller than this gigantic cicada, okay? That's what we have here. So we have the duck lure, which, nope, it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> out of the box, look at this thing. You do have a dressed rear treble, looks fine. I mean, they did a shoddy job cutting it at the top there, that's fine, whatever. Cheap little tiny hooks, okay? We got a split ring on the front, right? We got, you know, crazy little red eyes, this is an angry ducky. We got a single joint, Right there, with some noise, loud noise, and we got a wake bill. Look at that. So this is like a little wake duck. <laughs> it's a duck. Duck tails. <laughs> it's a waking duck. What? Now this is the one that was gonna go on the shelf because it just looks so good. Look at that. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Um, and when I say gorgeous, what I truly mean is you know when you have like a low resolution picture and you print it out of a printer. Imagine you do that and then you just stick it onto a cheap plastic blank. That is what that is. Look at that super low res printed design. These look a lot better on the website than they do in person. These look awful. They look awful. This, oh, this is way worse. Look at that. That is that, it's like it got blown up and it didn't have enough pixels. And then they just said, heck it. And they slapped it right onto this ducky here. 
Yeah, very blurry. Uh, I've seen better print on plastics, which is harder to do than it is on this. Like, look at this. What is this one? What is this? So it's just, it's just red. And then you can see what I'm talking about with this treble here. Typically, this is all cleaned up, right? So this is all just loosely wrapped around this treble. I don't even know how long that's gonna last. Uneven strands, you know, and, and kind of the, the purpose of this was, you know, th this site is pushing a lot of marketing right now. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of influencers are talking about it. And I'm like, dude, come on, like, calm down. It's not that great. So then we go on there and I wanna prove that it's not that great. And I think I've been proven right. Like, yes, they're cheap and they're cheap. You can get stuff on there, it'll function. There's way better stuff you guys should be saving up for. Trust me, it would be worth it just to save up. That's my opinion, man. Uh, and I know Paul feels the same way. He hated making this video. I wanna keep getting stuff from this site though, just so I can get the variety, right? I gotta get the reels, cause people are like, well, get a reel, like try the reel out, see if that's worth it. I'll show you, it's probably not, uh, as you could imagine. And like this just, it, it, again, it screams that it's cheap and it's cheap. It's cheaply made. I can't see this doing anything good for me. Everything on it is like, I've seen people make their first fishing lure and it looks better than this. So I don't know. Oh, I think I just broke the lip on one of this just by me. I was just trying to see how well that was molded in there and it, it definitely is not good. It's not good. Okay, well, you know what? There you go. This one will go up on a shelf immediately. And then uh, these two, we're gonna go fish them. We're gonna go see how they do. One more. Um, this is one of those ones where you see it and you're like, okay, well that's asinine, let's get one. Okay, I think this is one where it actually has like some packaging and we gotta read this packaging. So, catch BLG fish. I don't know if that's a brand, catch BLG. At first I thought it said catch big fish. Catch BLG fish, ocean fishing. Okay, uh, we work, we worked, we worked hard at hooks. We worked hard at hooks. G good job. Uh, all right, and then this side. <laughs> this side is describing the hooks as high intensity. Made from high intensity carbon steel, strong toughness, anti-corrosion, not afraid of big fish, not easy to bend straight. Uh, dude, I have to read all of this. This is all gold. Hang on, let me get this packaging out. Uh, perfect swimming gesture, spontaneous swimming posture when sinking the bait body can swing left and right and attractive. <gasps> and attractive, cool, 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 neat. Irregular movements, imitate the panic, escape, and near death state of fish. That is, that's the uh, irregular, that's the irregular movement. Boop, 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 boop. Neat. Fishing lures. Our lures are made from the highest quality compo components. 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 Cool. Um, and finished with colors to suit for fishing in any conditions. This lure can be used for many kinds of fish. Warning, this product is made for fishing. Do not <laughs> ingest. I'm thinking this is the brand, maybe. I have no idea what that says, though. Not a, not a darn clue. Quality. <laughs> I'm leaving that in because I literally thought that was like a brand. It turns out it says quality. What the heck, dude? <laughs> Anyways, all right, so what we have here is if you guys are familiar with the Lunker Hunt prop fish, it's a hollow body fish with a prop tail. I hate it, it's terrible. I have like several of them sitting on a shelf. One of our least favorite baits of all time. This is a hard version of that and with a treble and also a spinny blade off the tail. So here's what you get, right? Again, with the blown up inflated graphics that look terrible when slapped onto a hard body plastic, right? We got a, a plastic fin there up top. Got some details. You got your eyes, really weird eyes. They're just like, you know, just looking forward. Okay, cool. We got a little split ring here. I mean, it feels like a hold up. We have, this is the high intensity hook. We got one hook on here, nice treble. I'm not sure, it doesn't look like it's going to hit the prop at all. We have a prop that spins. I mean, that's obviously a start. 
And then we've got this blade coming off the back, but check this out. There's like these, can, we, can I get them to show up? There's like burn marks on the metal on the front of it and it's not showing up great because of the glare. There's a little bit of one you can see right there up at the top. What is that from? Like, it ain't coming off. It just looks like during mach the machining process, they just like hit this thing on accident. So I mean, whatever, it's a, it's a basic gold Colorado blade. So we got another top water, cause I wanna throw some top water stuff with a prop and a blade. Sure, why not? Um, very rattly, doesn't weigh much at all. And yeah, it's just like this blown out bluegill is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> yeah. The things I do for science, for you guys. Um, well, that happened. We, I think we spent 27 bucks total on that, right? So it's not even that great for, for the price. That's all we got. I've done better on like Tackle Warehouse sometimes. Uh, so we got the, uh, the fake Bellows Gills, three packs of those, two different colors. We've got the, um, you know, Stuff of Nightmares, Alien Pink Wacky Rig. We've got the world's biggest cicada. We've got three little ducks. I think this was the most expensive kit, the three little ducks here. And then we got the, uh, the prop fish with, with spinny flash. How much money could I get from this company if I just bent these hooks straight right now? Cause they said you can't. I bet I could. I bet I could. Come on, mate. And don't forget about the quality. There you go. That's my Timu order. Temu, Temu, I don't care. I'm saying Timu. I don't care what it's supposed to be called. It's Timu. And uh, gosh dang, did that stink. So let's go ahead and get some uh, fishing reels and we'll definitely be more impressed by those, won't we? Won't we? Thanks for watching, you guys. This is, you know, this was a lot of fun. What would be a lot more fun is taking these things out and trying to catch fish on them. The funny thing is I guarantee we're going to catch fish. Like I, it's, it's a no brainer. It's going to work. It, it's kind of the proof of the concept is you can buy a Pikachu lure off of Tackle Warehouse for $23 and you're going to catch on that. There's crazier stuff out there and it all works. I've caught fish on little human plastics. <sighs> that said, let's do this. Let's wrap up the experience with Timu so far. So with Timu, shipping took a long time. Uh, they give you a four to five day window on when that's going to be delivered. So they gave me April 30th to May 4th. Now it came on the second of those days, May 1st, which was a Monday, which is cool. Okay, awesome. That's like the first deliverable day of that five day window that they gave me. And it came in just a taped, a overly taped plastic bag. Okay, that kind of sucks. Maybe it's just the way they have to deliver. Whatever, that's fine. The, the shopping experience is very interesting on there because you can't understand any of it, right? So you're just like, okay, what does this do? The descriptions don't really explain it too much for you. The videos are almost slightly more helpful, but not, not that helpful at all. And here's the thing, once you're done and you do the order and you go through that whole process, they bombard you with emails. You are going to get emails multiple a day, every day until you unsubscribe, uh, which is hard to do. So just a heads up, if you shop with them, you're going to get a lot of spam and then you're going to get weirder spam from other places. Like they're selling your information right away is what it seems like to me. And then I've also heard horror stories. Now, hopefully this doesn't happen to us so far. It hasn't, uh, where people have had their credit card information stolen. So I try to use PayPal wherever I go. So I have that PayPal security. I'd recommend you guys do the same. PayPal has been great. I uh, use it 99% of the time when I'm shopping online, especially if it's a website that's not Tackle Warehouse uh, and even on Tackle Warehouse I do. But like if it's a, a website that I haven't used before that I don't understand the reputation of or I haven't seen anything about it, then I use PayPal immediately. And if they don't offer that, I don't buy there. So be careful, be safe when you're shopping online. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight of what it's like in the world of Timu. Uh, and I mean, you know what? I, I was kind of in a position where I was like, why not? Let's try this out. It could be fun. It could be terrible. It's still content. Let's just do the thing. And a lot of you guys were asking about it or saying that you had your own experiences. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below what your experience has been. Would you shop on Timu or not? 
If you have, have you been happy with it? And if you've gotten the reels and stuff, give me your review on it. Does it work? That's step one, it better work. Step two though, does it work well? Are you enjoying it? Would you go for that reel as like your standard go-to reel and you're super happy that you have it? That's what I really wanna know. And then we'll go and we'll pick up a model or two so we can test them out for you guys. Awesome, thanks for coming along with us on this journey. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.